kind of clean these parts. We're just going to brush everything off and then have some compressed air. I'm going to make sure that none of this solution is still on the parts. Then we'll lubricate what I need lubricated, clean everything up, and then we'll reassemble. All right, you don't need to watch me do all this. Parts are all clean, nice and shiny. Lubricated this tuners with a little bit of lube inside the shaft here. It'll drip down into the gears. Rotated them all. So we're good to start reassembling. Just reinstalling this bridge and those new saddles. All right, so one part done. Get this jack plate ready. Put that in there. Nice and snug. It's not going anywhere. In case you're wondering, that's a 12 mil. Here, I'm just gonna reinstall the tuners on this neck. Come back in here. There we go. Those are 10 mil, in case you're wondering. Now, I'm just going to tighten the tuning heads. There we go. All right. Let's put those string trees back in. All right, I'm going to go drill out these four holes and then find a suitable shim. Then we'll reinstall the neck in the pocket. So basically, I just drilled it out so that the screw can go in without threading into the wood. And in this case, it was 3 16 is the bit size that I needed. So that's it. All right, um, shim. Just going to trace the heel of the neck here and then when I cut this business card it'll fit the contour of the pocket right here and then I'll cut the other end square. There we go. Right, round it on one end and that slides right in here. Should, there, look, nice, perfect. Put the neck on that, good to go. There we go. Slides right in there. I'm not conceited. Oh, 
Okay. We are starting to look like a guitar again. <laughs> Man, I like those frets. Love how they turned out. So look, it has a twin. <laughs> Here's where we are. We got the bridge back on with thicker steel saddles. Inside of the body, fully shielded. Body's been polished, front work has been done, neck has been conditioned. Um, the tuners have been reinstalled and they're gonna be okay. Um, these center shafts are a little loose, but with these washers and uh, nut inserts, they, um, they stiffen up pretty good, so th they'll be fine. And then I put the original string trees back on and you know that song, sometimes you're the windshield, sometimes you're the bug? Well, I'm the bug. Uh, when I was putting the nut in, it was a little tight. I had to sand the thickness down. And it was still a little snug, but I thought I could get it in there. And I applied too much pressure on this end, and I snapped it in half. So I broke the nut. Um, I have to get another one. And I'm just going to order, like, a pre-radiused, pre-slotted, 42 millimeter nut and hope that there are some locally because on Amazon the only thing specced that way is like a month away and I don't want to wait that long. So that's it for now as far as the body goes. The only thing left is I'm going to clean these pots with a product called Deoxit. It's an electric contact cleaner and I'm just going to spray some in the openings here and really work that and spray some inside the switch and I think these will be fine because they worked when I tested the guitar they were just a little scratchy and I think it's just oxidation and then all I need to do is wait for the new pick guard to come in and I will you know transplant all this stuff on the new pick guard install the pick guard on the strat and then as soon as I get a nut I'll be able to install, restring, and go over to the amp and do a final test and setup. So, yeah, it was quite the project, but I really, I really enjoyed it. So stay tuned for part four, which will be the absolute resurrection of the Made in Japan 1982 Fender Strat. <laughs> you guys take care. God bless. And keep rocking that six string.